Hello, bonsoir, barca de yama, e kale, jumbo, wagwan, galau banasan, mbidioma, for our international viewers, and welcome to Naker News Network, where we report on the global destruction, degeneracy, and violence of the non-essential Naker. Wherever the Naker resides, be it in the Americas, the Bahamas, the Caribbean, the Middle East, Asia, Europe or Africa, the dust is global, and if Elon Musk allows Nakers on Mars, the dust will most certainly be intergalactic. I'm your anchor, Karenisha Dragerton, reporting live from Dustwanda. For our viewers whose first language is in English, Naker is a black male of any nationality, socioeconomic status, academic attainment, religious belief, sexual orientation, able-bodied or disabled, that engages in depraved behaviors and has a reprobate mindset that aids in the continued destruction of the black African diaspora. I need to clarify that any race of man can be dusty, but because I'm black, we're focusing on the Kangs. Because Kangs are the demographic most black women interact with, so they are the dusties of focus. Because we here at Naker News Network pride ourselves on providing unbiased, fact-based news, we share empirical and anecdotal evidence with our audience. Any pertinent links to data will be provided in the description box for viewer purification when possible. Before we delve into the dusty global destruction caused by the diabolical dust mites, a word from our sponsors. Are you an unemployed or underemployed Kang who wants to divest to a third world country because the only place you can pretend to be an alpha male is in an economically unstable nation? For a limited time only, you can now book a one-way ticket, refunds currently not available on the Poverty Punani Express, an intercontinental bus company that offers low to no cost bus tickets to Latin America for all the financially destitute Naker passport bros. Poverty Punani Express, your one-way ticket to create El Negrostan. That's the Afro-Latin version of Blackistan. On this edition of Naker News Network, we will explore the global hobosexuality of the Naker. Nakers worldwide have shown they lack leadership qualities, emotional intelligence, and the ability to self-govern. Wherever the Naker resides, the community is economically unstable and riddled with fatherless broken homes. When are we as black women no longer going to accept the nothingness that the Naker can barely provide? When are we as black African women going to stop engaging in the dusty diaspora wars of whose Naker is the better provider and protector? Because sis, they aren't providing anything anywhere but dysfunction, dereliction, death, and disease-riddled dick. Hey, where are the white women at? Hey, where are the white women at? So I'm from Colombia. If you're a Colombian girl, you have three, four American guys approaching you, offering you money, and filling out their passport, like literally, and then I'm telling you, I'm American, like I'm actually looking for a girl, like I'm actually, I will bring you here, but it's just odd. Like why you wanna get with a girl that doesn't speak your language and that makes up to $200 a month. You know, it's just odd. Like I don't wanna point fingers, but it's like, why are you looking for that when you can get a girl? Why can you not get in America, you know? Why you cannot get a girl? Is this black guys or white guys? I saw a lot of Black guys. I saw a lot of black guys. You know, it's odd. Like, the description that they exude is just weird. These passport-toting hobosexuals are traveling to South American countries that have extremely high rates of HIV, to engage in poverty punani tourism under the guise of finding a wife. By the way, Colombia has the fourth highest HIV rate in all of Latin America. These traveling tricks barely have money for round trip airfare, so you know damn well they don't have the funds necessary to sponsor a fiance visa. One of the key requirements to sponsor a fiance to the US is that you must be able to cover all of their living and medical expenses and make 125% above the federal poverty level during the entirety of the sponsorship process. The same men that are the least likely to be employed or to have health insurance, the same men that require 50-50, yeah, okay. The delusional grandiosity of these self-hating, sex-driven Mandingo mattress warriors to think that women driven by poverty to prostitution somehow genuinely loves them and not their US currency. It must be schizophrenia. Black women everywhere need to hang up their heavy ass titanium capes and advocate and protect themselves. Let these demonic mayo loving mandingo mattress mutts figure it out on their own. These traveling tricks, that's what we at the Naker News Network call Nakers that prioritize access to non-black women. Let them destroy Maria, Ling Ling, and Becky's community in future. In the year 2024, by the strength of our Lordess and Savior Keisha, that's God's real name, 
all black and African women will be delivered. Let the congregation say, a woman. Praise Keisha. Beyond having melanin and a phallus, what do these kangs have to offer? I'll wait. Yeah, absolutely nothing. See, here we go again. We got another Jamaican girl talking about she don't get here. Like, after I gave her some... These masculine and most desired men have to sneak and get on social media in the bathroom to complain about the intercourse he just paid for from a traditional woman. Do these men really believe we're falling for them saying that they're looking for submissive wives and favela brothels? And when did traditional become synonymous with prostitution? Also, did you hear the woman in the background say, I know you're not in there talking about me. So submissive. Even the supposed high value status of being from a Western nation only holds weight because the dominant males, AKA the Brads, did all the heavy lifting. They're delusional if they can't see that they're on the bottom of the global male hierarchy and that Maria and her hermanas are just popping poverty punani for a few extra pesos. These traveling tricks are getting treated, not loved. Nakers in Western countries say they have no patriarchy, but what they need to say is that they don't have a functioning patriarchy, meaning one that provides, protects, and establishes dominance while also being oppressive to women. Nakers just have the latter. Not even on the continent do the Nakers there have a functioning patriarchal system. Kangs actively partake in Brad's race-based patriarchal hierarchy because it gives the Kang the ability to absolve himself of his shortcomings. The patriarchy gives him the power to shame and blame women. Kings have fully adopted the outdated oppressive tropes of black womanhood. They understand that one of white supremacy's goals was to depict black women as sexually irresponsible. That's why you have nakers online saying black women were assaulted during slavery, complaining about the single mothers they create, and saying that welfare took them out of the home, which is hilarious being that more white people receive welfare than black people, but Brad isn't saying that government assistance has basically rendered him useless. Nakers lack the determination and are allergic to hard work. They rather unalive each other over scraps and go to jail for free housing. One of the major components of the penal system is housing, which is provided by state and federal government, sort of like welfare for felons. So welfare not only took them out of the home, but it also made them felons. So are the Kang saying there is now a welfare to prison pipeline? the more you know. Are you a broke, unemployed, and unproductive Mandingo mattress warrior? Well, contact Naker Help, a place where Kangs can learn manhood and accountability. The counselors at Naker Help are men from other communities that have shown that they have the skills necessary to build nations. We at Naker Help are here to answer any of your questions you might have about traditional masculinity and manhood. Naker Help is changing the lives of one dusty buck winch at a time. Are you a desperate, poverty-stricken, punani peddling preference from a third world country looking for a quick finesse? If you meet the aforementioned criteria, join Whores Without Borders. We at Whores Without Borders will help you find a dusty naker with a passport who will happily spend his entire life savings, which is roughly 700 US dollars, so they too can pretend to be alpha men. Whores Without Borders is committed to helping you secure your very own international, interracial, broken home. We here at Whores Without Borders aren't responsible for any STDs you may contract while dealing with the Naker. We also aren't financially responsible for any of the Naker's unwanted children or any bodily harm you may face after joining. Kings are the most hypersexual and sexually irresponsible beings on the planet, fathering and abandoning their children at the highest rates, regardless of the race of the mother. Not their beloved plantation mistress warning her non-colored sisters about these dusty desires dark skins that worship whiteness? Miss Ann really just said she's sick and tired of being punched and that interracial dating is an agenda. Say it ain't so. <laughs> and white women is not even your biggest competition anymore, black ladies, for your black men. Your biggest competition now is the world. You're competing with the world for a black man. See, not all you black women, but some of you black women have told black men that they're trash, that they're not good enough, that they're not worthy of your love and your submission and cooperation and inspiration. So these men have decided, okay, I'll go where I'm appreciated. 
I just had someone on a live the other day, a black lady tell a black man that $60,000 that he earns annually is not enough to even support himself, let alone a family. When families, and most people have two incomes in the household, make 71,000 on average in the United States of America. Now, that's why the passport bros movement is so big. Just think what a black man can do with that type of money in Brazil, Colombia, the Philippines, or Thailand. Oh my God, corny, <laughs> man, boo. Tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomatoes. You don't qualify for brothers like myself. So one of my mutuals stitched this video. So if you click on the link, it's gonna take you back to his video and not the original poster. Um, the problem isn't that we don't qualify for men like yourself. The problem is, that men like yourself don't like women. These nakers are so inept, I'm going to break down how remedial and financially illiterate these kings really are. This naker said black men make 60K, which isn't true. The average black male makes 42K. I guess in naker land, where all of your dusty dreams come true, kings make 60K a year. This naker said he can take 60K and live like a king in Latin America and Asia. First, you have to save 60K. And does he really think one can live off 60K for over 20 years in this global economy? Like, what is it? Is it schizophrenia? I heard another naker talking about how they would be millionaires in other countries. Like, sir, just because you have a million pesos does not mean you're a millionaire. To be a millionaire anywhere still requires you to have a significant amount of money, regardless of the currency. You have no idea how currency exchange works. And being a millionaire and having a million dollars is a finite number. The Kangs have a long and documented history of chasing non-black women. This is just them being them dusty ass selves. These underemployed dust mites are now just trying to triangulate black women and the global female population as a part of their traveling trick movement. Don't fall for it, ladies. To all my international non-related sisters, don't fall for the bullshit. Go and ask Becky and her biracials how that's going. Quiet as it's kept, I think that's a shim in bed with the naker because that man looks homeless and shim seem desperate for any sort of male attention. Let's be real, a Becky that attractive, whether it be natural or plastic, could do so much better. If that's not a shim, I'm going to assume she has mental health or narcotic abuse issues. You know everyone knows how much the naker values whiteness when the people down at Netflix are creating shows around the naker's obsession with white women. 3,000 years of longing? Baby, that's before Jesus Christ. You mean to tell me the Kang's lust for cave wenches goes back over three millennia? Oftentimes when we talk about the underperforming naker, the conversation usually involves the American naker, but his dusty naker cousins on the continent and throughout the diaspora are gauging in fatherless activities as well. In South Africa, 60% of African children grow up without a father in the home. 70% in Black America, 55% in Jamaica, and 51% of Black Brits grow up fatherless. What is the reason behind the failure of the Black African family structure? Could it be that Black males just don't value family? Why are Jamaican women having to sneak and hide their birth control in order to not end up struggling with a bunch of kids that a hypersexual hobo won't provide for? This is nothing more than a dusty men retirement plan, tethering themselves to women and children in the hopes that he can return when he has nowhere else to go. This is beyond broke. This is destitution. These Kangs of dynastic origin are down so bad that you have young Afrikangs pimping themselves out to geriatric retirees in the hopes that she will save that black man and give him a better life in a Western nation. When they say prostitution is the oldest profession, I bet the Kangs were the OG hoes. The Naker Kangs are too busy chasing after Brad Miguel's rejects and grandmothers and causing mayhem in third world countries to actually clean up their global image. And as you see here, what it says is, a 29 year old American software engineer was arrested this Wednesday, which would be March 29, 2023. So this is very recent um, in the Rijo Vermelho neighborhood in Salvador after a program girl. You see what they did there. I like what y'all did there, Brazil. I'm not going to use any other term other than 
program girl from this point on. Straight like that. It's a program girl. That's it. That's all. That's the post. <laughs> so it says, after a program girl called the police because she did not receive payment for the job. The man is originally, so he ain't, he ain't want to pay the program girl. The man is originally from Pennsylvania in the United States and was working in the Bahina capital through home office about one year ago on a tourist visa. He lived in a luxury building in Rio Vermelho with his girlfriend who was Brazilian. So he had a girlfriend and he still was paying for program girls. Damn, that is nuts. That is insane. Paying for program girls while you have a girlfriend is insanity. A military police car passing by the site heard the report of the program girl and officers called officers from the Red River Police Station to be able to escort them to the apartment of the American. According to the Bahia TV, the man was under the influence of substances and ended up assaulting the female companion. So he ended up, mm, 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 he ended up assaulting her, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, who called the police, who had the police there on her behalf. The American came to hold a, from the officer. So he tried to take the officer's pistol and choked his chicken in front of the officers inside the apartment. Family, this is crazy. Hold up. So this is the dude right there. This is a picture directly from the news article. And this is the dude right there. These passport bros have become unhinged. Unhinged, y'all. Hey. I hope he's in here. Oh, he's a brother. Fuck. The Kangs are primitive. And I know someone will say that it is racist to call Kangs primitive, but how else can you describe their inability to excel, fixation with sexual access to non-black women, and the self-hate badly disguised as a preference? How does one not prefer themselves? That's weird and tragic. Thanks for tuning in for today's episode of Naker News Network. This is your anchor, Kiranisha Dragerton. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you happen to witness any fuckery afoot on the internet and you'd like me to drill them, contact us at Naker News Network. Until next time, have a dusty free week. And remember, it's drill time all the time.